What up? Coming to you live from Austin, Texas. As you guys know, I'm here at minitrucks.net. They have a bunch of cars, Lone Star Mini Trucks. It's crazy. We're going to go over like countless cars in this next week. But first and foremost, I want to go over a car that I've never seen before. Maybe you guys never seen it before. It's a 2022 Daihatsu Hijet Jumbo. And the reason I wanted this to be the first car I go over, because as you guys know, I obviously love K-Trucks, but I've only seen K-Trucks that are 1998 and lower. The way the import laws work in America is that they have to be at least 25 years old to be road legal and this one for example is really just for farm use and obviously living in new york city i don't see a lot of farms so we don't really see a lot of these trucks but this one i want to definitely drive we're going to go over the exterior we're going to go over the interior and i want to see what is the trucks that i should be looking forward to in 2047 so this is a 2022 daihatsu hijet jumbo everything you see here is factory options the rims the hard cargo nut this is actually a canopy i thought that was a cover to go over both sides but that's actually a canopy that comes out you can see here that the little piece of the bed is gone but you have an extended bumper for some extra storage here's how the tail lights look nice and clean love these hard floor mats the rims are super nice too i love the olive they have like 20 of them over there and they even have like a rose gold and black one i'll show you that later in this video but look at all the features you get keyless entry look at the steering wheel airbag of course huge screen with apple carplay four wheel drive diff lock push button start look i put my foot on the brake come on and seeing how this guy's a jumbo you got some additional storage up there i got the extra space to put my seat back like this i cannot wait to drive this car actually let's start it right now look at all that all those cool lights we're in two wheel drive right now but if you hit this you see all wheel drive auto very very clean nice big screen apple carplay android audio bluetooth hdmi you can charge your phone right here it's so crazy to see a k-truck like this with all these features i'm used to seeing some with obviously roll up windows definitely not with power mirrors some of them might have power windows but not power mirrors this thing is crazy let's turn all the lights on while i let it warm up boom boom and boom now the light bar and all the lights should be on This is a beautiful truck. I know when 2047 comes, they're probably not gonna be very excited about this, but seeing it now, you know, about 20 years early, this is very, very cool. Size-wise, they're pretty much the same. I'm gonna drive over to one of the older trucks and we can park right next to it. But as you guys know, for it to be a K vehicle, it has to fit in the same dimensions. It doesn't really matter if it's a 1980 or a 2022. Here's a look at the passenger side. Power windows, nice storage. Here's the glove box. You have this to hang your dress clothes or something like that. Nice little quirk. Two cup holders. It's a jumbo, so you have the additional storage here. Some additional storage up here. I can fit my fist. You even get a nice little mirror. It's kind of rare to see one of these with one of them, but it's a 2022. But surprisingly, this side doesn't have one. I think that's so crazy. Like, to us, it's a big deal. But in Japan, they probably don't really care to have a mirror out there. But it's just... That's probably a $10 difference and they just don't do it. But all right, enough looking around. Let's drive this bad boy around and see what it feels like. Let me park next to a K truck first so we can see the size differences. I'm gonna park next to a newer one too. I think there's a newer Mitsubishi mini cab over there. It drives really nice too. We'll get into all that later, but it being automatic, it drives so smooth. The AC works nice and amazing. It works like a new car. It looks like a new car. It drives like a new car. It doesn't drive like a K truck or anything like that. It doesn't drive uncomfortably. But let me park right. Where should I park? There's so many K trucks to choose from. I don't know where I want to park. So this is a newer Suzuki. That's a newer Hijet. That's a newer Mitsubishi. I guess I'll park next to the newer Suzuki. Actually, no. Let's park next to the newer Hijet. Let's park next to the newer Hijet. That makes more sense. And by newer, I mean like 2001, not 2022. So let's park next to this guy. They're both jumbos, which I think is amazing. So you can see the additional window here, additional window there. This happens to be a 1999. Height looks pretty much the same. That one just has a crazy light bar. Let's see if this guy's open. It is. Here's what a 1999 interior looks like. Same thing that we kind of got. 
no real amenities obviously no power windows i doubt there's a mirror here yep there's no mirror still get the space back here though which i love seat still goes back and you do get some cup holders there so they did add some nice little quirks back then but nothing as much as the 2022 so here we have the two high jet jumbos you can see right here they're basically exactly the same that one's a little closer out but there's no real difference in the size you can see this front bumper it ends right here it ends right there it's really the same exact thing they just made it a lot more modern this one's obviously a lot more safe you still get the high roof nice comparison between a 99 and a 2022 another thing that this has which is just so crazy to see in a k truck a backup camera <laughs> To me, you know, I'm used to seeing 1990 A1, so they're all bare bones, they're carbureted a lot of the times. This one just has all the features. Look, it's even blinking, put into drive. It even has a sport mode. I'm not sure what B is. Maybe I'll ask around before this video's over, but you can see some of the other buttons here. Four wheel drive lock, four wheel drive auto. Not sure what this is. What do you guys think this is? Oh, lane assist. Wow, that's lane assist. This is obviously traction control. This is, I'm not sure, nothing changes. And this is turn off the automatic start. What else can I show you interior wise? You got another little cup holder here. That's for your rear light. This is the power mirrors. Very cool. And that's pretty much it. Let's get into the best part of this video. Let's drive this guy. The drive is very smooth, very comfortable. Everything feels brand new. This thing only has 35,000 kilometers, 35,000. I'm so used to saying thousand. It only has 35 kilometers the crazy part is when we do get these in 25 years we'll be lucky to find one with 35,000 kilometers let alone 35 but let's head out i'm going to make a right let's see what this driving experience is like i'm going to rate it as far as just a normal car i feel like comparing this to any of the k trucks i've ever driven isn't even safe but for this just being a 2022 car feels smooth not very bumpy Turning radius is just as good as every other car. Do a quick U-turn. All right, let me change the camera and really enjoy this drive. Well, it's one of those cars where like, it's so nice that I don't want to treat it like a cage work. I couldn't imagine someone buying this and using it for farm use. I feel like it's just, it's like buying a brand new car and not ruining it because that's what cage trucks are for, but it's just so nice. The AC is on, I'm chilling, sitting back here nice and cozy. I can't believe this is what we're gonna get in 25 years. I can't wait. I know in 25 years I won't be more excited. I probably won't even care about K-Trucks. Nah, I'm gonna care about K-Trucks. But I know I'm not gonna be as excited. Uh, but this thing drives amazing. Super excited to drive it. Let me bring this back. We got a lot more cars to go over. Turning radius is just so good. I feel like I'm just driving a brand new car. Like I can just sit back here. I'm in a K-Truck at that. That's the best part about all this. I feel like I'm in a van or a newer car. Like I'm in a K-Truck cozy my legs are turned right now and it's automatic so you have to worry about shifting or anything like that they have some automatic ones there actually before we end this video let me show you the rose gold model they have that's really nice they have some that don't come with radios they have a black one that's really nice they have some that have a spare tire here this one doesn't even have it but let me bring this guy back and show you what else is here at lone star mini trucks so i'm gonna back this one in actually no i'll park it right here let me park it right here and show you guys the other options because i wasn't sure which one to drive i was like should i drive this one should i different one i was like nah let me drive an automatic one so this is what i was just driving but you can see they have like 20 models they have some that are base model this one says hard cargo the rose gold one i was talking about is right here this as you can see is one of the base ones it doesn't have any of the light bars up there back here it's very standard nothing extra the bed still goes down the same exact way just like this it just feels new this one has bronze rims this one has regular steelies this is the base model what else is different in here this one has a regular radio it only has the four-wheel drive button doesn't have diff lock and this one doesn't have power mirrors so you can see some of the differences i'll show you guys a five-speed model here's a regular green one i'll show you guys the one with the spare tire in the back too some of them just have front bumpers like this this one says hard cargo. So here's one of my favorite ones. So this guy happens to be five speed. Here's how this looks. Five speed manual, high, low. Still got the extra space and everything like that. Power windows, still got the big screen. But this one has a spare tire here, which looks badass. It has this little grab bar. 
some of them have that too like look that one has a grab bar but no spare tire and then you still get the spare tire back there and then you can see on this one it just has the regular back too it doesn't have the additional little extended bumper but these are super cool i can't believe i'm seeing them literally right next to this next to all these 2000 and like 20 and up k trucks you can see a high jet right here this is a 2001 this one is not a jumbo but there's another high jet here another high jet here these things are badass it's cool that they have so many different options this one has a big screen that one had a regular radio i know some of them don't have a radio at all i'll show you that right before i end this video let's see i know i saw at least one this pink one though i really like it let's see oh right here boom no radio that's just crazy this one is probably brand brand new also five speed most of them are five speed i just really wasn't in the mood to drive five speed i wanted to see what an automatic k truck was like but there you have it minitrucks.net lone star mini trucks so crazy to see one of these in person so crazy to even drive one 2047 couldn't come any sooner catch you guys on the next one peace remember the name this is way before the fame